the first thing you want to do to create the email header is go to gregkuntz.com under our class design fundamentals choose the email marketing uh, assignment in that web page scroll down until you find create your own header and then you're going to download this illustrator template that I have for you so download that and that'll help us get started this should go to your desktop or into your downloads folder double click that will open this into a folder and in that folder I have three files I'll put those on the desktop here the first is the illustrator file and then I have two photos just to show you how to swap them out with your own photo. So I'll double click on the Illustrator file and that brings up the header template. So this is 600 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. That will fit into our email, which email marketing is usually 600 pixels wide. So in here, the first thing I'll do is swap out the photograph. You'll want to make this header your own for whatever you choose to do. So to swap out the photograph I'll simply click the photograph over here in the corner and I will go to links. In the links palette you will see that the photo linked right now is titled woman with dog one. I want to swap that out with the other photograph I gave you just for demonstration purposes woman with dog 2. So I'll click the relink chain here and I will go to the desktop and I will find woman with dog 2 click place and you will see that that photo has been swapped out with the new one. So I can grab the corner holding my shift key down to reduce things proportionally I can change the size of this. I can move it around with my arrow keys. And for demonstration purposes, that will be good. Close my links palette. And now I have replaced that photograph. <clears throat> so you can do whatever you want, find whatever photo you want. On, I would choose Unsplash or Pexels.com to use your or to find your photographs. So next, we will change the header. And I see my highlight is not showing up, so I'm going to go to Show Edges under View. You can change this to whatever you want. So now I have Craig's dogs. We're going to open this up a little bit. Craig's dogs, dog walking services. This is our weekly newsletter. So this is the way our new header would look. You can put whatever you want up here. So in order to make this web friendly so that the file is as small as possible and then it delivers quickly through an email browser, I am going to go to File, Export, Save for Web. This opens up a new window. You can see here it's a window inside of our Illustrator window. And I am going to choose JPEG. Because I have a lot of photograph in here. I choose JPEG. High here is fine. We'll double check that it's 600 by 200 and I will click Save. Just for your reference, you'll see down here after we optimize this file and make it web friendly, it is only 27k down here. Very, very tiny file. So I'll go to Save. And then I can save this whatever I want. Um, I'll name this Craig Kuntz header template. I'll just go to my desktop right now. I'll 
take off the class design fundamentals and I'll click Save. So that processed it and made it web friendly by stripping out everything that it really doesn't need. So I'll go to Hide Illustrator and you will see that here is my new header with the new photo and my name and everything in there. Now I will go back to MailChimp And in MailChimp, I will log in. I will go to Campaigns. Just a quick note that MailChimp changes its uh, interface from time to time, and this is something you'll deal with your entire life. Uh, but just wanted to point out that um, instead of changing this entire video, which is still very valid, I just dropped in here to show you that um, now they have kind of this vertical navigation. So this right here, the little uh, megaphone here, bullhorn, is your campaigns. Click on that, and then all campaigns. And then to create a new campaign for yourself, you'll click up here in the gray. And that's it. And now in this template, you can see if I click on the existing header, which I want to change, and I click Replace, all I have to do is go to Upload, find that header, find that header, where did my header go here? That would help if I was on the desktop. So this is my new, my new header. See it's 600 by 200 pixels. Click Open. It will upload it. Select that file. Click Insert. And it will swap it out. You can see it has maintained the 600 by 200 pixels. Save and close. And now you have your new header. That's it. So you'll do the same by making the header fit whatever subject matter you're using for your email marketing blast. Thank you.